This is the tofu fried rice I ordered from a local Chinese restaurant. I know I can make a better version at home at a fraction of the price. We've been eating takeout a lot as I get acclimated to my new kitchen, but sometimes all it takes is one not great $20 meal to inspire me. Here are a couple of tricks to make great fried rice. Use dried out rice, preferably a day old. Why? Dry rice will crisp up easier than fresh rice. Second, fry the rice separately in a really hot scorching pan from all the rest of the ingredients. This will make sure that the pan is hot enough to add some soul to your rice. Third, add some vegetables to your fried rice. This isn't just because they're good for you, they'll create varied textures that will not only be delicious looking for those of you who eat with your eyes first, like me, but provide optimal mouthfeel. Finally, lay out the sauce. Sauces will not only undo all the work you've done to create texture, it'll weigh your rice down. I like to season my fried rice with a little salt and pepper and garnish with a drizzle of sesame oil, a sprinkle of toasted sesame seeds, and some scallion greens. That's it. And in case you think your eyes deceive you, this homemade fried rice, which cost me less than $3, had no hard to find ingredients, or required special skill with a wok, is delicious and one you can do in your own kitchen. I promise.